tena wakazi wa mlilo paranga ngoli ya kirutai tausa na kigombo waliotarajia mavuno kutokana na mvua ya vuli hawana tena matumaini baada ya uvamizi wa ndovu walioharibu mazao yao huku mamia ya mbuzi wakiuawa na simba Hezron Kimari na taarifa hiyo kutoka eneo la Ngolia Mvua ya vuli ilikuwa imewapa matumaini wakazi hapa Marcela Bali ambaye ni mkazi wa kijiji cha Paranga alitarajia kupata mavuno tele lakini uvamizi wa ndovu shambani mwake umezima ndoto yake. Mindi yangu imeharibiwa na ndovu. Na hivi sijui ile nitafanya nimetumia nguvu kulima. Na hivi sasa hata jana kwenyewe nimelala njaa sijui nitafanyaje. Nitamlilia nani? Na tuna viongozi ambao wanaanza wakatushughulikia na paka sasa hatujaona yote ametufikia kuona vile tunavoteseka. Sasa kama community pale tumefikia ni sisi nasi kwa sababu serikali haitusikii basi tutumie mbinu zozote za kuangamizana na hawa nyama kama sisi ndio tutaangamia ama wanyama ndio wataangamia na tunataka serikali ituelezee hawa nyama ndio wa muhimu na kama hawa wanyama ndio wa muhimu basi kungekuwa na rais wa ndovu na si paranga peke yake ni juzi tu katika maeneo ya Mbololo sehemu ya Kirutai Simba wamekuja wamekula wanyama wetu pale. Karibu mbuzi 14 na ngombe wameliwa. Tumeita KWS walikuja vizuri lakini tena hawakuondoa Simba. Walishika mtoto wa Simba wakampeleka. Walipompeleka tena wakamrudisha kwa mama yao msituni. Juhudi za Marcela kuchoma kinyesi cha ndovu ili kuzuia wanyama hao kuingia shambani mwake zimegonga mwamba huku jamii nyingi zikihofia ba la njaa miradi ya serikali kama ule wa maji wa mlilo Kangemi na zahanati ya Paranga pia zimeshuhudia uharibifu wa mabomba na matenki ya maji hivyo kutatiza huduma za afya hiyo maisha yetu pia yako hatarini maisha yenyewe ya daktari daktari anatoka hapa anaenda kutafuta maji daktari mzima badala ya kila kitu kiwe hapa inakuwa sasa na nini kero kwa ndovu Wakazi hawa wamelaumu shirika la KWS kwa kukosa kuwalipa fidia. Hivi sasa hii mnyama ukimgusa hapa utaona hata mahelikopta wanakuja hapa. Sasa hawa watu watafanya hata tukue na, na uadui nao. Mzozo kati ya binadamu na wanyamapori katika maeneo haya huenda usimalizike hivi karibuni iwapo mradi wa ujenzi wa ukigwa umeme hautawekwa katika eneo hilo. Hezron Kimari, KTN News, Ngolia. Na mna kaunti ya Migori imeanzisha tena mpango wa kuwasajili wakulima ili kutoa data itakayotumiwa katika usambazaji wa mbolea ya bei nafuu. Afisa mkuu wa kaunti hiyo kuhusu kilimo Michael Midwa amesema zoezi hilo litasaidia kuwafikia wakulima wote haswa kwenye maeneo ya mashinani ili kuhakikisha watu wanapata mbolea ya bei nafuu. Kaunti ya Migori ni miongoni mwa kaunti 12 zilizoorodheshwa wasajili wa kulima ambapo wanafaa kuhamasishwa mapema ili kuhakikisha wanapata mbolea hiyo. We have put strategies forward to see that we have enough food. And that's why farmers are yelling now that the national government and the county government have come together to ensure that the farmers get better rights. And the farmers we are also moving in by as the farmers the government to address the farmers to ensure that they prepare land in advance to ensure that the planting is done before it. About the slaughterhouse, which we have Wanawake wa jamii za wafugaji katika kaunti za Samburu, Laikipia, Isiolo na Marsabit wananufaika pakubwa kutokana na biashara ya shanga hali ambayo imewainua pakubwa kiuchumi na aswa wakati huu wa kiangazi ambacho kimekuepo kwa muda mrefu. Takriban wanawake 1200 kutoka kaunti hizo wamenufaika baada ya shirika moja kuwapa mali ghafi pamoja na kuwatafutia soko la bidhaa zao. Kwa hivyo kwa nani tangatai kai support Anarti amefanya sisi kitu ya maana sana kwa sababu zamani tulikuwa tunashana shanga kwa hapa na tulikuwa tunakuja tu tunapatua shanga tunashana kaacha alafu tunapatua pesa na mkono uh, today here we are assembled at Kalama Conservancy in Samburu County Uh, as the women of Bidworks from Samburu Conservancies, that is Kalama, Sera and Westgate. Today is a big day for them. They are issuing a conservation check to their conservancies. 
a conservation check is the money that the women take return back to the conservancy after the bid work sales are done to support the conservation and also as part of to be part of their conservancy. Tuko na mama elfu moja miambili ambao wanafanya kazi ya ushanga katika conservancies nane uh, ikiwa ni Laikipia County, Isiolo County, Samburu and Marsabit County. Nimefurahi hapa sana kuwa nimekuja kuwa shughuli kama hii ya wakina mama ambao wameshikana na wanafanya kasi nzuri. Sisi kama county government ya Samburu tumeamua kwa kauli moja tutafanya kazi pamoja. Wahudumu wa boti na hususan manahodha kisuani amu kaunti ya Lamu wanaitaka serikali kupunguza bei ya petroli kwani imeathiri pakubwa kazi zao. Manahodha hao wamesema kuongezeka kwa bei ya petroli kumesababisha kudorora kwa mapato yao. Aidha wanasema idadi kubwa ya boti kisiwani humu imechangia kulemaza kazi zao kwani manahodha wengi hushinda mchana kutwa bila kupata abiria. Abiria wamekuwa kilipishwa shilingi hamsini kutoka kisiwani humu hadi eneo la Mokoo ambapo ni umbali wa chini dakika kumi hali inawafanya wengi kusalia walala hoi. Kazi imekatika kabisa na sababu kazi kukatika ni sababu kitu cha kwanza ni mafuta kupanda bei. Mafuta mkoa yako hali ya juu na kila leo tukinuka mafuta inapanda zaidi. Sasa hivi unanunua keni moja ni shilingi 1400 na 400 na 400. Sasa ukiangalia kama hizi gari zote ziko hapa hizi zote hizi sio kwa hawataki kazi. Hakuna kazi. Na kila leo kila ukiamka unasikia mafuta yamepanda. Sasa kwa mafuta yamepanda na hakuna kazi. Je, tutafanya nini sisi? Boti kwanza zimekuwa nyingi. Alafu mafuta pia tumepandishiwa. Mafuta yamekuwa juu. Sasa ndio kaona boti nyingi zimelala, hakuna ka. Na tunategemea sisi ya abiria ili wasafiri wavuke waenda Mokoe wakiru wakirudi lakini sasa kulingana na mafuta bei zimepanda juu sasa mtu pengine kwa siku anapata 500 sasa 500 ile yeye atatafikia watoto ama atasafiri sasa ndio utaona hata wale abiria sasa hii ule usafiri pia wamekome wamekomesha huduma ya kazi hakuna na dalilika petroli iko juu na boti hizi zimejaa hapa hakuna nafasi kazi kilizo hakuna kabisa petroli iko juu Tuelekea maeneo ya bonde la Ufa ambapo wakazi kutoka kijiji cha Namalacha kaunti ya Turkana wameendelea kupitia dhiki kutokana na kiangazi ambacho kinazidi kuathiri mifugo wao kiasi cha kusafiri kilomita nyingi ili kutafuta malisho na maji. Baadhi ya wakazi wanasimulia jinsi wamekumbana na changamoto nyingi njiani zikiwemo uvamizi kutoka jamii jirani na wanyama wa mwituni. Elvis Kosgei na maelezo zaidi. <tos> Faithe kwa mnaona kijiji wengine ni miongoni mwa wale ambao wameatarisha maisha yao kwa kutembea usiku na mchana ili kuwatafutia mifugo wao maji na malisho. Barabarani wamekumbana na changamoto chungu nzima. Kutokana na limbaya anga, kaunti ya Turkana ni moja wapo ya kaunti ambazo zimeathirika kutokana na ukosefu wa mvua kwa muda. Janga ambalo limeonekana kuwa la kitaifa huku mifugo na bin Adam wakijipata kwenye hatari tumepata shida sana kiu ilikuwa ameumsa watu hata ilikuwa anaua watu kiu wao unaenda kutafuta maji mali unaacha watoto unapata mtoto imesimika juu ya kiu unapatia maji na ana, anakunya na anatabika tena enda kulima tunalima hakuna maji tukirudi nyumbani hakuna maji unakuja tena kuenda kutafuta maji na wakati unaenda kutafuta maji huwezi rudi nyumbani haraka mpaka jioni ukitafuta maji na mama nyangau na na babara na maneno ya nyangau huwezi watafuta pia huko barabarani usiku yote jana hiyo maneno yote iko jela iko jela hapo katikati japo zamani iliaminika kwamba ni wanaume tu walipaswa kuzunguka kutafuta maji kina mama wamelazimika kutembea kwa zaidi ya kilomita msini ili kuwatafutia mifugo wa maji na malisho hata mbuzi yetu nimeichi hapo kwa ajili ya njia maji hata wazee yetu nimeichi hapa kwa ajili ya maji na mama kutoka jioni asubuhi hajapata maji tumekuwa tukistruggle mambo ya maji kwa muda kwa miaka kadhaa ambazo karibu 
miaka kumi na kwenda mbele saa hii tena tunatembea mpaka asubuhi kesho tunafika nyumbani tunaomba serikali mzee atusaidie atusaidie chakula atusaidie maji atusaidie askari wengine atuongeze kutokana na hali hii serikali kuu kupitia mashauri ya ustawishaji miradi katika eneo la Kerio Valley imejenga mabao ya kima shilingi milioni moja katika kaunti za Turkana, Baringo, Samburu na nyanda za chini za Elgeyo Marakwet ili kupunguza makali ya njaa na ukosefu wa maji. As part of uh, drought mitigation, uh, we have uh, set aside 100 million which we have been able to do uh, six boreholes and uh, two water pumps spread within the region. And we are glad that uh, last week we were in uh, Koloa, Baringo and uh, this particular week we were commissioning this particular borehole in uh, Trukana West in a village called uh, Namalacha to ensure that uh, the great citizens of the nation of this great nation of this particular part of the county benefit uh, from or, or are not affected by the current uh, severe drought uh, the government uh, uh, through the government we uh, we are furthering this program in this region of Trukana we have done it in other regions and we are happy that uh, all has become success though we have not done, we are, though we have uh, done uh, few uh, bounds not to the expectations of uh, one inch huku county katika maeneo kame zikiendelea kushuhudia kiangazi ipoaje kwa serikali kubuni mbinu za kisasa zitakasaidia pakubwa maeneo haya kujiwezesha ili kupunguza makali ya njaa katika siku za usoni Elvis Kosgei KT News na, na kamati ya bunge la migori inayohusu afya sasa imekosoa kitongo cha afya kwa kile imesema ni utoaji wa huduma duni na ufisadi wa hali ya juu katika hospitali ya rufaa ya kaunti hiyo kamati hiyo wanachama kumi na wawili ilifanya ziara ya ghafla katika hospitali hiyo kufuatia msururu wa malalamishi kutoka kwa umma kuhusiana na kudhulumiwa na wafanyakazi sawa na uhabu wa maji katika kituo hicho George Omamba mwanachama wa kamati hiyo amesema ubovu wa mashine utepetevu pamoja na uhabu wa wafanyakazi kumesababisha hospitali hiyo kuhudumia idadi ndogo mno ya wagonjwa. The problem of drugs here. Um there's a problem of drugs here. But uh, I'm being told that uh, they are using their internal mechanism to ensure that uh, they have, because KEMSA has never delivered drugs here. So they are using the, the departmental, I think, voted. Uh, I don't know how they are handling it, uh, to ensure that there are the, the continuous uh, uh, drugs brought here until they open. We have also realized that uh, almost to the fourth quarter, almost to the, actually we are in the third quarter. This is, uh, this is uh, January. That is the, this is third quarter. This is third quarter. To the end, to almost third quarter has started and it's almost ending. The procurement programs have not been opened here. Something that is seriously harboring this department. Because failure of which, I'm being told that uh, in the next three days they may lack even the, 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 the gloves uh, and very necessities that are very necessities that are very important. Currently, the facility has an oxygen plant that uh, is broken and is under the maintenance process and we hope that uh, within a few a few weeks it should be running. On the issues that have been raised, they'll be ad addressed adequately. We're in the process of rolling out procurement and in the next few weeks we'll have drugs taken to our hospitals, all of them. And uh, when you talk about the water shortage, it has been a problem which has been affecting this institution for long because since it was upgraded, the number of patients has increased. Na mkutoka maeneo ya Migori tuelekee Kilifi ambapo serikali ya Hungaria kupitia ubalozi wake nchini Kenya imetenga zaidi ya shilingi bilioni 20 kwa kuboresha miradi ya kilimo afya na pia kutoa ufadhili wa elimu ili kuboresha maisha ya wakazi wa Kilifi. Serikali hiyo kwa ushirikiano wake na serikali ya kaunti ya Kilifi imeahidi kushirikiana ili kuboresha uchumi wa eneo hilo kuhakikisha maisha ya wananchi wa Kilifi yanabadilika. 
akizungumza jijini Kilifi wakati wa mwaliko maalum wa gavana wa kaunti Gideon Mungaro balozi wa Hungary nchini Kenya Slot Mazraro amesema serikali yake imeangazia miradi ya kilimo ikiwemo kuongeza ama kuongezwa kwa thamani ya mazao ya korosho amesema kuwa tayari umefadhili ujenzi wa kiwanda cha korosho and i'm here on the invitation of his excellency the governor of kilifi very happy to be here because we have one of our longest running projects in kilifi in the agriculture sector a cashew nut value chain uh, development project that uh, gives job to thousands of farmers along the coast in addition we partner with the county in healthcare we have just handed over two equipment a hematology and a biochemistry analyzer that will hopefully improve the services provided to the citizens and last but not least we would like to help in capacity building by offering scholarships to the county in all sectors health agriculture engineering to be uh, put to the advantage of the young students and people of the county the ambassador have said is um we, we are basically, they are already here in Kilifi County with other three countries doing the value chain on cashews. But on health, he has mentioned the machines which they have donated today. They have also agreed today with the partners of the Hungary uh, government that they will bring more machines for culture, blood culture, and two other machines soon. But above all, the Hungarian government also have a partnership with the Medi, it's called Medi... Nefromed. Nefromed, and by end of March, God willing, we'll open in Kilifi County the first dialysis center uh, in this uh, uh, hospital. Maafisa wakuu wa mataifa wanachama wa Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki wako nchini Somalia katika misheni ya ukaguzi wa iwapo taifa hilo liko tayari kujiunga na Jumuiya hii au la. Shughuli hiyo inafanyika katika makao makuu ya Somalia Mogadishu. Somalia imekuwa ikishinikiza kujumuishwa kwenye jumuiya hiyo baada ya taifa la Jamhuri ya Demokrasia ya Kongo kusajiliwa kikamilifu mwaka jana. Rais Hassan Sheikh Mohamud alihudhuria kongamano la 22 la marais wa mataifa wanachama wa Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki ambapo alionyesha nia nyingine ya kujiunga na EAC. You know Somalia applied for the admission to the East African Community. And this has been discussed carefully by the heads of state, members of the summit. And last year in July in Arusha, even the president of Somalia himself came to Arusha to, you know, put more case on why Somalia should be a full member of the East African community. And therefore there was a directive that the secretariat, the council of ministers, should send a mission to verify the readiness of Somalia. So we can see a situation where the East African community is growing and is likely to get a seven or eighth member, eighth member, possibly at the earliest. So once we get that report of verification, then we shall sit down and negotiate with them in the areas that they need support. And finally, we get that report adopted by the Council of Ministers and by the summit members, and then they will consider admission of Somalia into the East African community. Na mtazamaji kutoka kwa maso la hayo inayofungamana na Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki ni ruhusu nitamatisha taarifa zetu za mbio ya KTN bila shaka mengi zaidi utakuna yapata kwenye taarifa za KTN leo mwendo wa saa moja mimi ni Cecilia Wakesho Mathuva alasiri njema kwa heri